Welcome, welcome, welcome to the last installation of the DEI Design Engineering Inc.'s heat shields. Here I am installing it back in, I think it was May or June 22, right before the Hokahe. I put in 15,000, 16,000 miles on it. These suckers held up great. I love them. I love them. When I took them off, a little piece fell out, but I'll describe that later at the end when I will show you what they look like when I take them off the bike and put them in front of the camera. But let's see what I sounded like after installing these uh, in my garage where it was like 80 degree heat. I wanna give you guys a tip. Get new fucking clamps, don't use the old ones. What a pain in the ass. But I got them on, they snug on, they're on there. In fact, they're on there tighter than before because they have the uh, the insulation inside so whoo man i'm old my knees hurt my neck hurts sucks getting old but anyways we got her done baby we got her done and now promoting these inserts and this is what it looked like after they have about 15 16 thousand miles I put them on and when I go to put them on I believe I'm gonna put in new clamps you gotta have new clamps I mean when they send them to me I should have known better this clamp here I lost part of it as you can see it's it's very thick but this clamp became defective on me immediately and I guess it was a little flapping, and uh, it just it just got tore up. But these things stayed in very good. This is a very good product. It keeps the heat away from your legs. So as you know, I did the Hoka Hay motorcycle challenge, and I installed these, and I rode like 15, 16,000 miles. But unfortunately, I had problems with my flywheel where the the flywheel bearings just took a crap. I had to ship it from Hartford, Connecticut. My mother was passing away. So when I completed the Hokahe Motorcycle Challenge, I tried to go from South Dakota to Connecticut. Had a very hard time. My engine was getting extremely hot because of the friction because it was having a hard time working with the flywheel. I knew there was something wrong, but I had to make it to Connecticut. So I, I put it on a truck and I sent it back down to Florida. I didn't want to mess with it more. That's when we found out the flywheels were bad and we had to change it. But even with that extreme heat, these turned out to be pretty good. So what I'm probably going to do is send these back, get new ones installed, because I'm right now building, uh, going from 114 to 117, I split the cases, new flywheels all the way up to the top and we're doing a good thing. Another thing I did is with that tape is that I had a piece of, of what it was, a piece of insulation that wraps around a car muffler. So what I did is I took the tape and I wrapped it because normally what I did to protect myself underneath the, the seat was I would put this underneath the seat, the top of the battery. Of course, the battery terminals were, were covered because I didn't want no arcing or sparking. And then I just put the seat on tighten down the two bolts and this protected me a lot I think the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this coating and I'm going to have my seat opened up and I'm gonna put it underneath and inside and then I'm gonna lay the or might even get me a piece of this to put underneath my seat I think this would create a lot of uh, deflection of heat especially underneath my bum as I'm traveling because those Harley engines really do get hot but I highly recommend this. I haven't been paid to say this. Um, I was I was given these insert freeze. I tried them out, and immediately, 
in 90 degree Florida weather going north to leave. I pulled over on the side of the road and I did a real quick, uh, just say it was good. But let me tell you, these things work. They're worth the money. They're worth the time to take these heat shields off your bike and put them on. Not bad at all. They they were held, and also they've been thrown around my garage. So probably this part that's missing here probably fell off. It was there when I did take it off the bike. It was just about this much that that had broken up, and and but great product. Don't go by me. Buy it. Put it on your bike. Come back here. Post below what you think. I want to hear what you think.